Hi guys! Today I am going to show you how to make this edible tennis ball cake topper. Alright, so the first thing is to get my modeling chocolate mixed with a little bit of fondant to be the right color. So I am going to get a lot of white, a medium amount of yellow, and a very tiny little bit of green. Now Rice crispy Treats, I'm going to shape it and into a ball. And now I'm going to cover it with some gum paste so that it retains its shape. I'm going to let it dry. Notice that I'm making it smaller. That's because when I add the chocolate, it's gonna get bigger. And now I'm going to add the chocolate. And I'm not really worried because with the chocolate, it's very easy to cover creases. I have a brand new toothbrush, of course, and I'm going to use this to make the texture. This is why I wanted the gum paste underneath so that I wouldn't lose the shape of the ball while pressing hard with the toothbrush. Ah, gosh. All right, so that wasn't sticking, it was coming apart, so I'm putting some piping gel underneath and I'm going to start over. All right, this time it should be good. Let's see. I chose to do it over a round mall so that I wouldn't lose the round texture too much because the gum paste is starting to soften on the knee. And the toothbrush is gonna give it a really, really nice texture. Very realistic. I am now mimicking the glue of the ball. And now the other side. The one thing about working with chocolate is that the more you work it, the softer it gets. And that's the problem I'm starting to have. I'm starting to destroy the shape of my ball. Ugh. All right, um, what do I have close by? I am going to, I'm going to use a tiny little jar of silver dust and I'm going to put it on top. That's gonna work for now. You gotta be creative sometimes. Problem solving. All right, that's gonna keep it from flattening against the table. Okay, I actually let it dry for a whole day and now I'm going to go over it. it. This is nice and dry, so I'm not, every time I touch it, I'm not ruining it. And now I'm using a little bit of powdered sugar and some white paint and that's it. A small brush and I'm painting over the glue. And I have to say, this is looking really, really realistic. I'm very excited. There you go, that's it. All right, that's it. This is it, the tennis ball cake topper. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like my video. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified when there's a new video. Bye.